Quantization in GarageBand iOS is awesome. It lets you fix your timing and line up your notes on the grid. But what if you want to quantize different sections with different types of quantization? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live today where I help you create, record and release your best music. And if you're creating music in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad, then you're probably aware of quantization. If you're not, check the link up the top and down below because we've got some more videos all about quantization. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually quantize different sections with different types of quantization or even turn off quantization for particular sections where you don't want your whole track to have the same quantization. So let's dive in and take a look now. Wow, that's a lot of uses of the word quantization in a row, so I better explain exactly what quantization is all about. So here we have a piano track with some drums and some bass, and the piano does uh, some quarter notes through this first section, and then you'll notice that in this second section from bar 17 onwards, it does some pretty complex sort of stuff. So let's just listen to a little bit of this. We'll listen to two bars of the quarter notes and then into the complex stuff, and we'll show you what we're doing here. So there you go. Now, what you can hear is that we've got these quarter notes here that are a little bit out of sync. So what we'd actually do with quantization is we come into our track settings at the top here, we tap on track settings, we go quantization, we go straight, and whilst they're quarter notes, what I'd probably do is put eighth note quantization on there, just because there's these little bass note sections here that are actually eighth notes. So let's just play back a little bit of this now with the quantization. So you can hear that that sounds really good. Yes, yeah, right on the grid there. That's what we actually wanted. But the problem is, once we come to this section here, let's just hear what this sounds like. can hear that we're missing notes there it's lined up too much of this and yes we could come in here and we could go to our quantization settings we could make this uh, you know 16th note 32nd note or 64th note but what I actually want is I want no quantization at all on that section so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave eighth note quantization on there but what we can actually do with quantization is there's two places that we can put it on we can put it on there on the track settings and we can also put it on the actual piece of audio so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap here I'm going to tap again I'm going to go split and let's split this audio. So now we've got on the left side here, these are our quarter notes that we can want to quantize. On the right side here, this is our expressive free piano that we want to not quantize. So here's how we do this now. We tap on this one, we tap again, we go to settings, and you can see here under quantization, we've got the eighth note straight quantization on. And then what we can do is go to this section, tap it, tap settings, and now under quantization, we're going to go none. So we're turning the quantization completely off. If we now go back to our track, settings and go track quantization look at this we've got multiple so quantization is set to multiple which means that the quantization is set by the section here that we have the piece of audio not by the track so now we can actually play back this section and listen to what happens when we go between our nicely quantized section here and then our free non-quantized section afterwards And there you go, you can hear there that we have our non-quantized, our nice natural expressive sound on this side, and then our nicely quantized quarter notes over here. And if again, we tap, go to settings, there is the eighth note quantization. We tap over this side, there is no quantization there. We go back to our track settings and we go to quantization and it is multiple there. So there you go. Not only can you put quantization on your overall track, you can put it on each individual piece of audio and you can do the same with any other instrument. You can do it with keyboard, with piano with drums with bass any of these instruments that we can quantize any of the virtual instruments we can use quantization and we can get this variation going on where if you want one section to be nice and regimented and another section to be very free flowing you can do that with the section quantization i hope you found this useful and i hope you can use it in your next project and there you go. How good is springtime in Australia and how good is quantization in Garage Mountain? If you've got comments, questions or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video.
Hey, thanks for sticking around. We've got two more videos linked down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner or head on over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.